Caddis Maximus here. Let's talk about these uh, Titan no, nylon, fiberglass reinforced nylon pick set. Actually, one's a, a little pry bar set. But they're so thin that they can only actually be used as O ring picks and then an actual O ring pick set. I guess uh, one thing I will have to say is uh, the packaging is excessive given the tools. I was actually weighing them and uh, the packaging actually weigh with the tray weighs twice as much as the three tools that come in each of the packages. It is excessive. It's a huge amount of waste for some little plastic tools, particularly because they're including them in two sets. So uh, thanks for burning up a bunch of trees and a bunch of carbon footprint. Anyway, these are pretty nice. Actually, I should say real fast that you can certainly have tools and other stuff. We just got to try to be a little bit more responsible and not uh, have just a ridiculous amount of packaging for some plastic uh, tools. Anyway, what they have here is they have a three piece set of these pry bars. Each of these pry bars, and we'll start off with them first here, is kind of interesting. They each, this has, uh, they're each a different size. So you have a really wide spatula, slightly narrower. And then you have this one, which is slightly curved. You have this side, which is starting to get really narrow and is also tapered, if we can get that to focus there. And then you have this one, which is narrow, but uh, straight edged. And then we have a really tight taper. You can see that they use little ribbing on there and they would have been much better off to have these just be really thick and then taper out to the tip. That would have made them more robust. Uh, what's kind of uh, funny about these is they talk about using these plastic ones for automotive panels. I mean, this thing isn't going to pop off an automotive panel. Not any plastic panel I've really ever seen. They're really uh, that weak. They uh, really are uh, just for really soft scraping, maybe scraping silicone and, of course, O-rings. Just because these are a little bit wider, they'll be easier to manipulate slightly larger and heavier duty o-rings and they are electric since they are plastic fiberglass and nylon so they're going to be you know relatively robust they don't tell you how much fiberglass whether it's five percent or 35 percent should mention that but for certain types of electrical or electronic applications uh they can be handy for that so if you uh, just aren't entirely sure something may be live and you're having to fiddle around with it some plastic tools could be handy for that Paid probably too much, $15 for both these sets. Actually, I think it was $16 for both these sets. Actually, let me zoom in. You may be able to see here, it almost seems a... It, basically, you can really see the amount of fiberglass in the actual pick set because it just has this kind of odd texture to it. That's just because there's a huge amount of fiberglass. Where the pry bars uh, appear to actually have less fiberglass in them, so I'm not so sure about that. I can understand the picks maybe having a little bit more needing to be stronger, but you think they'd uh, be just a little bit more consistent. Anyway, talking about the pick set, I think the pick set's pretty neat because it comes with the short hook as well as a deep hook. Uh, they have kind of an odd shape for the molding here. It'd been nice if they actually made that a little bit more elegant, but we do have a 45 degree angle, and if we flip these over, I think it's a little bit of a shame that they came with two straight picks. Uh, they should have come with another style, maybe a 90 degree like many other sets come with. And then they have this short 45 degree. So they have a long 45 here and a short 45 there. So they could have had just a little bit better variety. Maybe one of those hooks that is a double hook where it comes out and then makes another bend, which can be handy. Not a ton else to really say. I think these pry bars are probably the uh, least useful out of the tools just because they made them too thin and weak. Like this spatula doesn't have ribbing, so you know this could be handy in certain situations where you're just really looking to not mar something and just to be able to get under a latch. This, you know, that may be handy in uh, some automotive panel situations. But once again, I just don't see these having a whole lot of strength, but <laughs> I bought them anyway. Another thing I was noticing is there's got to be uh, uh, not just a, I mean, obviously a fiberglass difference. Uh, just these sound different when they're clanking around. Maybe because these are shorter, but they sound like they're a harder material, slightly higher frequency sound and indicates more rigidity. These, I think, are going to be best used in situations where you're really worried about marring. Now, they make o-ring specific picks which are picks like these except for they have like little wide 
uh, spoon ends on them to prevent, you know, scratching and gouging of any of the O-ring surfaces. Because obviously a scratch is a little pathway for something to leak past. But these fiberglass one, uh, nylon ones are about perfect because they give you a reasonably hard and uh, strong plastic, but still is guaranteed to not scratch aluminum or anything else. And so I think that's really the best bet for these is just to simply have a non-marring pick set. <laughs> that's why I made the, the video label, non-marring pick set. And quite frankly, I'll probably use them uh, quite a bit for that operation just because it'll be pretty easy on them. Of course, you can use these for other similar pick operations, you know, working with a lot of wiring connectors that are locked on. But of course, they're plastic, so even if they do work a few times, they will obviously wear out a lot more quickly than metal ones. They have to be a lot thicker than metal ones. And even when they are thicker, they just don't offer the strength and rigidity. Plastic has to be way larger to offer similar strength levels. But for those disadvantages, they offer you huge advantages of just being able to go at it, get your O-rings or those seals out of there, and be able to be relatively aggressive so you can get them out quickly and easily without having to worry about causing any damage to the surfaces. So anyway, I kind of think this is an interesting idea for these kind of tools. Um, these seem okay, reasonably well built, being nylon and fiberglass reinforced. Uh, I just don't think they should probably be $16, especially when I'm paying for literally this packaging weighs twice as much as all these tools. So I'd like to pay for a little less packaging, maybe 12 bucks for this set. Anyway, just wanted to do a quick review. Thought it was a kind of an interesting new idea on a, on a tool and, uh, give you my take on them. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, Please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.